Hi guys. Remember uh, these uh, Shopcraft tools? Uh, they were popular in the early 80s, late 70s. So you could see them in popular mechanics. They were advertised. They had a whole series of them. Uh, you had uh, small lathe, woodworking lathe. You had the, the 10 inch bandsaw here. You had a grinder, different things, a drill press. Now, the missus found this at a garage sale and it was cheap so she got it and we thought it would be good for her uh, woodworking projects. She can move it around. It's very lightweight so it doesn't have to be kept on the bench so it's uh, perfect for her. She only does small figurines and stuff so we thought it was great but the original blade here for this unit I think was 57 inches and the common blade you can find at hardware stores now is uh, 56 and an eighth. I mean you can make your own blades buy the raw stock and weld it or you can order them online I guess but uh, if you break a blade and it's 8 o'clock at night and you just want to run to the hardware store. So one option was I took the original rear wheel here because it's the, the one on the adjusting uh, mechanism to my local uh, 3D print shop uh, matter things uh, 3D printing and if you're in the Montreal area and you need something uh, made for you if something's broken or something's irreplaceable they can uh, do it they're a really good uh, store it's run by a couple and uh, I can't say uh, anything bad about them man they're amazing really really nice so I uh, had this made it's a slightly smaller version of this and uh, it's made out of ABS it was printed in two pieces there's a split line here it's uh, glued together it's ABS so I used ABS glue to put it together I did filmed this already and I didn't like the footage so uh, well you couldn't see the two halves so it's already glued together needless to say um, I'm gonna have to drill out here and uh, ream it and then press in this bushing and that'll do on the lathe so I guess you'll get to see that unless I screw up <laughs> and because this is printed in two halves, I have less cleanup work, which is really nice. Because it would need support structures. If you print this as a solid piece, in order for the plastic not to sag while printing, you'd have to have a support structure here. So it simplifies the cleanup doing it in two halves, which is really, uh, really good. And it becomes a lot cheaper. There still is some support structure here from the original printing because there's a lip here and it's also radiused in here for the so the belt tracks properly so I'm gonna have to stick it on the lathe and clean up that now the original tire from the original pulley it's a little too big now so I might cut it and glue it on we'll see how that works but if not uh, I might use an inner tube old inner tube from a bike or uh, liquid um, uh, electrical tape that may work also it's pretty good stuff so I guess that'll be it for now and I'll see you in a little bit when the glue is finished setting on the lathe well <coughs> it's mounted in the lathe now and uh, just trying to center it up here. <coughs> Surface is a bit rough, so I tried an indicator, but it's it's way too rough to uh, get a good reading. So I'm just eyeballing it with a piece of paper, and uh, I got a old threading tool in here, so the point is very close to the the, uh, the hub here, and uh, just sighting it. If I get it within I'm okay after all it is plastic I'm 
because it's so dark and black, uh, this is hard to see under, so I put a piece of white paper underneath. And I think that's as good as we're going to get it. So, take the light off of here. And, uh, well, just need a bit more oil and spindle. There. There. And, well, we'll see what it happens. How about a little tap with a hammer, make sure it's seated right. Oh. <laughs> I have to do get the hammer. Okay. Get this out of the way. Center drill it. Now I don't have the right size reamer for this, so we're going to have to wing it. I have an adjustable reamer, and uh, well, I adjusted it on a piece of acrylic. This isn't the same plastic, so hopefully, we don't have a disaster in oversize. We want to press fit on the bushing. So here we go. That's fun. <laughs> Try that again. with the bushing just in case. Oh, good stuff. reamer will the end fit in there yes okay Oh. 
It's almost through. So lock it down and do it that way. Yeah. Of course the reamer's spinning in the thing. Okay, we're through. That didn't go as, as quite as planned, but when do things ever go as planned? <laughs> Should have bored it out a bit, left a little less material, but too late now. Yeah, so that'll fit. Now we'll get this out of here and uh, Or actually, no. I'm going to do it. Press it in using the tailstock instead. See if that works. Well, that worked. So, we'll see what we got here. There we go. It's actually in a little bit far. So we'll have to reverse that a bit. That's pretty good. Now I'm gonna have to uh, clean this up. So I'm gonna have to make a mandrel to hold this because I don't have a tapered mandrel to hold this between centers. Yeah, bigger and smaller, but not the right size. So we'll come back.